Hi there! Now that you're ready to get started on your home insemination, here's what you need to know about the process. Before shipping your vials for home insemination, you'll need to track your ovulation to determine the best time to perform insemination. It's best to arrange delivery three to four days before you anticipate ovulating. Once your shipment arrives, open the container and check for the following items. The tank containing your sperm vials, syringes, insemination instructions, packing slip, and return shipping label. Remember to put on gloves when handling the sperm vials as the tank will be extremely cold. Make sure to check your vial or vials carefully to ensure that you have the correct donor and number of vials. Once you have checked your vials, place them back into the tank until you're ready for your insemination. Keep the tank upright and out of direct sunlight. Don't put the sperm vials or tank into your freezer or refrigerator as this will damage the sperm. You'll need to track your ovulation to determine the best time to perform insemination. You can track ovulation using basal body temperature, monitoring cervical mucus, or using an ovulation predictor kit, which detects the LH surge. Ovulation typically occurs 24 to 36 hours after the LH surge. But once ovulated, the egg only survives 12 to 24 hours. So insemination should be performed within 12 hours of the LH surge. To maximize the chance of pregnancy, it is recommended to do two inseminations per ovulation cycle. The first within 12 hours of the LH surge, and the second 24 hours later. When it's time for your insemination, choose a comfortable location where you can lay down, such as your bed or your couch. Make sure to grab some pillows to elevate your pelvis, paper towels, and gloves for handling the vial. When you're ready to begin, Here's what to do. First, wash your hands with soap and water. Make sure to avoid soap that contains fragrance. Place a paper towel on a flat surface, such as a tabletop or counter. Next, put on a pair of gloves because the contents of the tank will be extremely cold. Pull up on the metal holder and remove one vial from inside and place it on the paper towel. Let the vial thaw for 30 minutes. Avoid unnecessarily touching the vial and don't use heat to speed up the process as this will damage the sperm. After 30 minutes, remove the vial cap and check the contents. If you see any remaining ice, thaw for an additional 15 minutes. Once the vial has thawed, take your syringe and remove the cap. Fully push the plunger so that no air remains. Take the tip of the syringe and place it into the vial near the bottom and slowly draw the contents into the syringe. Hold the filled syringe upright and using your fingertip, gently tap the side of the syringe so that air bubbles move towards the tip. Then, carefully push the plunger to expel any remaining bubbles. Lay down on your back with your pelvis slightly elevated. Use pillows to help with this. Gently insert the syringe into the vagina as close to the cervix as possible. Carefully deposit the sperm by slowly pushing the plunger until the syringe is empty. Once the syringe has been emptied, remove the syringe and remain laying down for 30 minutes. Now that you've completed the final step, discard the syringe and the empty vial. Make sure to return your tank as soon as possible to avoid additional charges. If you are shipping the tank, use the return shipping label included in the container. Thanks for following along and good luck on your fertility journey. If you have any questions about the home insemination process, please contact Premier Sperm Donors or reach out to your healthcare provider.